There we go. We've got mm -hmm. all ships readied up, and we are good to go. <coughs> yes, we are starting out on Neurven Fjords here. Oh, uh, forgive a... my comical pronunciation of it there. Northern Fjords, as, as, <laughs> uh, as someone who has no idea how to pronounce fjords would say. <laughs> would say. <laughs> I, you know what, I, th the thing is, like, while I know it's fjords, I, it's just fun to say it for fjords. All right, let's, uh, let's get in-game here and give a quick... Oh, no, blue team has that terrible, terrible spawn down over here, so we'll see how that works out. Let's give a quick uh, run-through of ships. Let's start with number one. Take it away. The Aeronautical Knights, Knightly Wrath. Uh, Gap Mortar Sides, Rocket Carousel Front. The AK Ramwaffer. A gap mortar front, a uh, mine launcher flare gun sides, the king in the north, um, the uh, <laughs> Gatling mortar front, the field gun, um, mine launcher side, um, the Volt, the HMS Voltan, Her Majesty's ship, gap mortar front, mine launcher carousel side. Okay, and we are All underway right. here. We have already got fire going down. The red team collapsing in on the Voltan. Um, I mean, as you'd expect, I mean, with these terrible spawns. Uh, and and I, Muse, I hope you're watching. You said this isn't the, this is not supposed to happen, so here you go. Proof that it does from the start. I mean, uh, King of the North kerosening in, but I mean, I'm not sure they're going to be able to get there in time to, to assist. The Voltan doing a pretty good job fighting the Ramwaffer, though. Uh, Voltan yeah. managed to avoid the Ramwaffer's arc of fire here. Um, the Voltan turning around to face the Ramwaffer. The Ramwaffer might have the better position. The King of the North finally coming in. The King of the North has been kerosening in here. Uh, but the Voltan just taking too much damage at once. It does manage to get its armor back up, so good on them. In the meantime, the King of the North is going to hammer with the Ramwaffer. Oh. I think this might just end up being the a 1-1 trade here. The Ramwaffer taking some damage here. It could be, yes, yeah, so you get those Final shots in. not oh, quite coming come on. in. Oh, the, where's the mortars, guys? The mortars. Oh, oh they, they had the mortars. It was just, I think they missed a couple of them, but the ram rifle's still not out of the dark. And there, there you we... go. There's that one to one trade. So now okay. we'll see what the knightly wrath versus the king of the north can do here. As both teams uh, chipping away at each other's uh, whole armor there. And let's see about the spawns here. Uh, the Voltan, of course, the first ship to go down is getting in a little bit quicker, but the uh, Ram Raffle being a uh, closer spawn is also going to be able to get back in here without too much trouble. And uh, it looks like we're going to end up uh, with another Raff conga line. Close here. Um, the Nightly Raff's armor is down. Oh, yes, Mortar's well timed here, coming in. Boom. Voltan, King of the North, finish it off. The now, Ram it should be interesting to note here that delay that the ram waffle had um where it, it didn't die right away you remember that and it got its armor back up that yes. delay i actually feel is like what made this engagement here is possible because they died a little bit later uh that spawn came mm -hmm. later and the voltan just managed to run right back in um while the red so, team was yeah and even uh, though they dropped even though they dropped the first kill, I mean, it's ended up uh, advantageous for the bullies. Yeah, um, and you know, good, good, good job by the red team of not actually charging back in once they knew that the yes. second blue ship was already back in there. Okay, I think uh, red team are going to be a bit tentative here. Um, looks like the bullies are firing down some flares. I mean, they're prepared for them to come in from the clouds. They want to be ready for them. I think it's, is it only the bully ships that have some sniping capability? I know they have a field gun on one uh, side. Yes, They're there's not... one field gun uh, for on the side of the King in the North and a mine launcher. Yeah, and they're not using that at all currently. I mean, they're, yeah. uh, they're kind of just sitting around here. I think they don't really know where the red team no. is situated in the first place. They've um, got, they don't know they if they're don't coming have... in. Oh, or yes, high. they do. Yes, they do. They've spotted both of them. The well, there you go. Now that spotted the flares... aeronautical knights, the flares yeah, those, have a he flares they have, have help gone. there. So yeah, those flares paying dividends already. Uh, Voltan's been spotted. King of the North remains unspotted. Both teams a little tentative here. Now, if you were if you were uh, flying one of these teams, which ships on the other side would you want to focus down first? 
Uh, probably the Pyramidium, because it's uh, a little easier to kill in terms of both sort of armor tanking and evasion capabilities, and uh, it's got a. It, it's much easier to hit a Pyramidium than it's, it is to hit the hull of a Junker. All right, here we go with another engage. As as yep, there you go. Both those blue pyramidians going after the red pyramidian, <laughs> and the ram rifle taking quite a lot of damage here. Um, is it going to be able to get those mortar shots in? And there you go. There. Boom. Yes, they do. However, the voltan's taking a lot of damage, but Volta voltan's He's trying to drop out, trying drop, to drop down. down. And Might have bought him enough time here. Barely gonna be able to manage to get out of there. The nightly wrath is gonna have Voltan to deal with the king of the north. Tank until the, until the king oh of wow! The north can and that is a really good in. spawn for the ram waffle. It, it it spawned right back into that fight and is gonna be able to come up on the Voltan most likely here, as that is the ship that you want to focus on currently. And there you go, firing away right at it, getting right back in here. We'll see how. Oh, the yeah, you're right. This. Oh yeah. The Pyramidians are turning, but the the nightly raft managed to stay alive long enough. Oh, for, and that's a fantastic little not even a ram. That was a nudge, just knocking the gunarchs of the King of the North out from the uh, nightly wrath, and yeah, not a whole lot that the King of the North can do here. I mean, as uh, you said, uh, uh, the spawns there quite advantageous to the red team. Yeah, I mean, mm. you know, last time, last time, last, uh, I should, I should say that first engagement, the red ship spawned quite far back in this case. Uh, they were really, really close, just managed to come right back in. But you cannot take away from what the Nightly Wrath did as well. It stayed, no, you absolutely stayed can't. alive in that 2v1. Stayed alive. Oh. Um, he managed to avoid. Oh, completely uh, unharmed, uh, too. Gunarks. Yeah, I mean, he didn't actually take any permahull damage, <laughs> and he, he almost. Well, he, yeah, he did heavy damage to the Voltan, which allowed um, the Ramwaffe to quickly come in and finish it off. Yep. All right, so we're going to get another little setup here. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting to see how this game is going. You know, you get, that, you get in the gauge, and then both teams kind of just like, like, okay, take it easy. Yeah. Get set up. <laughs> okay, let's and think about this. And they kill yeah. each other really quick again. <laughs> All right, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Now, the red team is making a use of. A, is, are they trying to go around on the? Yeah. Mm, so this is a path that you don't see too often. Oh, never mind. Never mind. They're not using it. I thought they were going to go all the way around to that left side, but I it looks like the nightly rats was yeah. spotted, which made them not go that way. Yeah, the, the bullies know that they're there now. And both of the red ships have been spotted, so the bully boys definitely know whereabouts they are. It looks like King of the North is considering turning his long range sides, but thinking twice and pointing his front at them again. Well, I, I mean, mean, both these both these teams yep. are now sitting out, out in the open. They know right. exactly yep. what the other one is. How yep. there just we go. King of the North away. is turning. He's turning his long range side, uh, firing the mercs, chipping away at them. Uh, he's not going to get a kill with one Mercury, but he is oh, going to yeah, kind. Of, I, this is this gonna, is this is, it, this this is, is more like saying, fire. Yeah, this, uh, this is more like <laughs> saying, "Hey, hey, come on, come on over come on, here." Come on. I, look, look you yes, can sit there. I'm just going to I'm just going to take pot shots at you. But but yeah, let's go. I mean, let's do this. one one Merc can definitely make the difference here because I mean, like you know, if you if you strip the armor down, take out a few guns while the red team are coming in, that will give you the advantage when the engage actually happens. And the engage is happening right here. King of the like North, the Voltan, turning to focus fire. The Ramwaffer, the Voltan taking some damage here. The Ramwaffer taking even more. The Ramwaffer looks Raff is like just... he's ramming. Oh, but the Ramwaffer you know, knocks off the art. Of the Voltan, the Ramwaffer's armor's down, the King of the North firing on the Ramwaffer, the Ramwaffer the firing on the Voltan, the Voltan's armor's down, boom, the Voltan goes down. Yep, and now uh, we've got the Ramwaffer taking a lot of damage here, and there it goes. Oh, it's one on one! It's the King it's of the North trade. versus the Nightly Wrath. It's a one on one match here. A lot could be determined by the, the Voltan's got a good oh, spawn. Oh, gets a good spawn over here, and I don't know about if the Nightly Wrath can do this. I mean, it's it, if it's got a. If it's going to kill something, it's got to kill it right now. The but... Voltan has already started firing up at the Nightly Wrath here. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I, I don't know I don't know if the Nightly Wrath really knows what it wants to do at this point. Um, it is stuck between, 
between a Pyramidion and another Pyramidion currently, and uh, yeah, this is going to go rock, badly hard for plate it. Situation. I don't think the Ramwaf is going to be able to get in in time. There's, there's the Ram on the, the Nightly Wrath. It, it wasn't really necessary. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It really wasn't necessary, that Ram. Uh, now the Nightly Wrath is going to be able to uh, actually... You see, they're ramming each other's arcs here. They got a little bit to, um, I think... And that's uh, given enough time for the Ram Ruffle to get in here. Yes. Yes, and it, it is had. coming up behind the Volten. And we'll see if the Nightly Wrath can just stay alive and Zeram off. He just needs to focus and finish off that Junker really quickly. Boom, so, boom, there. Oh. Sacrifice a, a little bit match. of itself to try to, uh, to try to, to, yeah, I mean, that was a great attempt by the Ram Raffle to come in and save its teammate. Um, but wow, what a close, close, incredibly close match here. Yes, it was. Like I said, I mean, the Bully Boys almost, they almost threw it because they got a bit too... <laughs> I think what they wanted to do was sort of sandwich that junker between their two rams. But uh, it ended up, they ended up knocking each other out a bit. But they, they recovered and they pulled it back and they, they won. Yes, the Bullies have won the first game of this series. I mean, uh, basically, uh, Darth Wager and Darius, again, here's more color commentary. Uh, they, uh, they both favor Pyramidians. So, uh, basically, yeah, they decided, I like Pyramidians, you like Pyramidians, let's go Pyramidians. So, I mean, it, it's not really sort of so much of a, um, a build here in terms of it's just, it's their respective favorite ships since the ship's the most comfortable with. Yeah, and I mean, you know, that happens a lot with the Pyramid. Now, personally, I, I've i always been a fan of the Goldfish. Um, I, I, I think I almost it. only fly Blender Fishes currently, but that is not what we are here to see. Ah, that is not what we're here to... Okay, <laughs> let, me, let me retry this. That is not what we are here to learn about. What we're here to learn about is whether or not the Aeronical Knights can beat the Bully Boys and bring it to a 1-1 tie, or if the Bully Boys will take a 2-0 victory here. So let's give a quick rundown of ships once more, starting with the Nightly Wrath. Take it away, Brick. Okay, the, the Nightly Wrath has Gap Mortar sides, Rocket Carousel front, no change there. Ram Waffer, uh, Gap Mortar front, Flare Gun Mine Launcher side, uh, King in the North, uh, Field Gun um, Mine Launcher side, Gap Mortar front, uh, Voltan, Gap mortar front, mine launcher, field gun side. Right, so... So I think okay. it's, uh, it's been pretty much the exact same loadout. Well, slight change, actually. No flares this time for the Bully Boys. This time they've both gone for mine launchers and mercs on the side. Yep, yep. And now it should be interesting to note that I didn't see a single mine last game. So they uh, had no. mine launchers, but uh, they didn't utilize that. I mean, to well, be fair, they barely utilized the... Uh, the Merc guns as well, and they use it, you know, twice. Once or twice, I think. yeah. Well, you see, what I think was happening there was um, the King in the North in the first match. It turned its guns, and like I said, it was starting to lay down the Merc fire, and it probably would have. Oh, mines talking oh, of there which. There you go. And yeah, there are some mines. <laughs> talking about there, we go some mines. And you know what? I, ca I actually kind of like this. Um, I like the fact that you can, you know, they are using these mines to zone out uh, one of the avenues of. Uh, Yes, of, of, of oh, engagement. This is very clever. <laughs> now, see, they're, see... They're, uh, they're mining up the uh, the area, the avenues of engagement here that have the cloud cover. You see, so yeah, it, yeah. if if the uh, if the red team were to charge in, I mean, through this cloud cover, they might not see those mines. <laughs> they might just end up going full tilt into one of them, uh, which could be quite nasty for them. Now, I feel like we saw this from one of the teams last week. I don't remember quite which one, but it was the Bully Boys had... again. <laughs> now, but the thing was that they, after laying down the minefield, then they just stood like right on the other side, and instead of, you know, kind of utilizing the fact that they zoned out an area, they just kept on firing through it. And I'm not, I wasn't quite a fan of of how that went. Um, so we'll see what the Aeronautical Knights decide to do. They are, at this moment, sitting uh, pat on this other side here. Um, they'll probably, I would say that this is, since this is not really an area that uh, lends itself to any sort of engagement, I would figure that they're kind of trying to, uh, you know, discuss exactly how they want to go about this. Um, I don't know, actually. 
I mean, if uh, the bullies uh, kind of came through this pass that the aeronautical knights are right in front of, they'd run right into a trifecta and uh, the Ramwaffer's guns. So it's, I mean, it's not a bad place for an engage, really. It'd, it'd be pretty awkward. I mean, of course, the bullies could sneak up behind, but that would be difficult at best. Both teams here just sort of setting up defensive positions, basically. Yeah, and you see some uh, Merc fire going off from the bully boys. I'm not sure if they're just... Uh, it feels like they're just kind of firing randomly right now. Um, I think I think what they're trying to do is they're just trying to provoke um, the aeronautical knights, really. Um, I, I can't think of any other reason why they do it. <laughs> Maybe they just saw a weird shape in the clouds, some birds or something. Maybe. I still feel it's like a really strange space for the knights to be set up in. I mean, yes... If the if the if the blue team were to come through this one particular area, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean they'd catch him. But I mean it's if if they were to come through an area like that, I think they would have done so already. Um, so I'm not. Well, I, I, yeah, it's a really strange place to be camping in. It, it is strange. Yes, and it looks like the aeronautical knights have forgotten about that too. It looks like they're okay, gonna I, I think, okay, go on I the think offensive. You, yeah, they're they are coming around here now. The interesting thing would be is if they don't take this traditional approach coming through here. Now, the, if they see those mines, uh, which I, you know they should, I believe you can actually go all the way around to the back of Blue Spawn of where they're coming in right now, right? If you wanted to, use, if you wanted to thread the needle or um, <clears throat> go around like the edge of the map, you mean? Yeah, yeah. So all the way around the edge of the map, you have this like large pipe in this um, mm -hmm. this area over here. You go past that, and then I think you can get around the back of this rock over uh, over here. So we'll see if they do any sort of because uh, it looks if to they be do like that, they're considering it. If they do that, they can definitely catch the bully boys kind of with their pants down. But the bully boys have wisened up a little bit to this. I think they may have spotted uh, what yeah, they were. They... Mm. Or, I actually, you know, they might just be turned in the position that they are for those uh, mercs. Uh, in the meantime, those uh, mine timers are winding down, so they are slowly getting destroyed here. Now, uh, Daft Wager, um, he's actually captaining the King of the North. Um, he's very clever in his use of mines. What he'll do is he'll just sort of make a cage of mines sometimes for uh, an enemy and then he'll sort of use the last mine as kind of a detonator to kind of set off that explosive cage and it, it, when he pulls it off it's just absolutely devastating all right i think we are going to get some initial spots here as a ram apple is yep. coming around ram is about to come around that corner they've seen the minefield has gone down the time has run out yep and we'll see how this ram ends up has being spotted I mean, they, the blue team has got to know that the Nightly Wrath can't be too far behind. Uh, King of the North's hung back a little bit too much here. It's going to take him like a second or two longer to start focus firing on the Ram Waffer, which will let the Nightly Wrath come in. Oh, Nightly Wrath's got to watch out for all these mines here. Voltan's taken a lot of damage here. Voltan's got the, really got the worst of this engagement. That's yeah, not good at all. Yeah, both Nightly Wrath and... Oh, the Ram Oh, oh Ram Waffer took a, took a hit with the mine there. Yeah, it has taken a lot of damage from that and is uh, getting tarred by basically his own teammate, I believe, as I think that was the Nightly Wrath's I think so, yes. tar. Um, and that mine just killed his engines and he's just sitting in his tar, which is terrible for it. Uh, so the Nightly Wrath and the King of the North duking out of here. Nightly Wrath taking worse of this right now. Voltan, of course, <clears throat> this being the blue spawn, gets a pretty decent one. Uh, yeah, the Ram Raffle has back. managed to get out of that tar. King of the North holding back a little bit here, waiting for his ally to come back, which is yeah, which is smart. I mean, he could have charged in, uh, try and get the kill on one of these ships, but wisely he waited for the Voltan to come back. Now the Voltan's back. Both Voltan and King of the North are unspotted. The Aeronautical Knights don't know that they're both there. And and neither does uh, <laughs> no, because the the now, no. everybody knows that All they're All right, now the fire on going down other. on the Ram Waffer. Fire going down on the Nightly Raft. Come on, guys, focus one target. Okay, looks like they've chosen the Pyramidian. The Pyramidian is uh, drawn the short straw here. But the Pyramidian's King backing off. Focused. King of the North getting focused, but so is the Ram Waffer. Ram Waffer goes down. King of the North taking a lot of damage. And there you Ooh. go. Ooh. So the red team definitely still comes out in advantage of out of this. Um, 
as they are up two to one. So even if the nightly wrath goes down here, they will only be tied, and uh, I think that's that's definitely a good spot for them. Now both now red team gets as, as good of a spawn as you can get being this far away, and I believe blue team gets a worse of a spawn as you can get being this close. And in the meantime, the Voltan has taken a lot of damage, and there goes the Voltan down. And fantastic job by the nightly wrath. I don't quite know how they managed to pull it off. That much of a uh, of a win they had they didn't take any damage there whatsoever and uh the king of the north has got to be really careful here um I, i'd like to see the knightly wrath maybe back up a little bit here rejoin with his teammates instead of trying to you know hunt for ships here and that's exactly what it's doing yeah well the king of the north doesn't know the ramwaf is coming back in um yeah i'm not sure what the king of the no king of the north might be being a bit too aggressive here i think Oh, this could be a mistake by the King of the North. He needs to back off. The, the The red team are together. King of the North is on his own. He's completely on his own here. Voltan is coming in and should be able to arrive before too much fire happens. King of the North backing up once it sees both the red ships here. Um, going mm -hmm. back into those clouds so it's not going to be able to get spotted that easily. <laughs> Voltan is trying for some really, really long range um, mortar fire here. Not missing quite connecting everything. Yep. And all right, so here we go. Here's another big setup going on here. Another engage, yes. <clears throat> and it looks like it looks the Voltan will once more be the target of the Aeronautical Knights. And it looks like the uh, Ramwaf is much, once more the target of the bullies. Voltan going down here. And Nightly Wrath has Nightly extended Wrath itself a little bit over. too far as, yes, yeah, has. now if the Voltan can turn itself around here, the, yeah, the Ramwaf is going to be in a, a focus terrible fire here. spot. The Ramwaf, yep, the Ramwaf is going <clears> to <throat> be taking uh, fire from both the Voltan and the King of the North here. The Ramwaf is in a very bad position. Nightly Wrath is way too far away to support, and the Ramwaf goes down. Alright, so we'll see if the Nightly Wrath can once again steal one of these kills. It's been able to do that several times so far, but... I'm not entirely sure. It's going to take the, a... The, the window of opportunity is slipping away. The Voltan's turning its arcs. Uh, it manages to avoid that pipe. You, all too often you see ships trying to rise out and smacking that pipe. Um, mm -hmm. So that's good by good job by the Nightly Wrath. Have, right, hasn't okay. taken too much damage so far, but is uh, now getting both those uh, Pyramid and Gun Arcs turned on, and it's going to be pretty nice. hard to get out of there. But the, the Ramwaf is Wrath... actually getting back in here pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. The Ram Wafford is coming pretty quickly, but it might end up being a meat grind because the Nightly Raft's armor is about to go down. The Mortar's hooking in. Oh, gets his armor back once more. King of the North going for a Ram doesn't even need to. The Ram Wafford's come back in here at exactly the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. And this might be just a The Ram Wafford's saying, screw it. Ram Wafford's just going to go for it. I mean, if it can pull out a kill out of this before it dies, it would be very good. But yeah, it's just too much firepower coming from the blue team. Yeah, the only yeah the the only way that that really would have worked out is if they traded one for one there. Then at least it would have been a four four tie. But uh, in this case, uh, the Ram Raffle just not in a good position whatsoever. So we've got this four to three, uh, which means either team can still really win it. Um, the way that this game, these the games between these two have been going, however, have been trading kills, and so of course, if you're the red team, you do not want that to happen, as that will be your last match. Absolutely. But the, the point is, is if the red team can score a kill on one of these blue ships and uh, and turn it into a two v one situation, they still have a very very legitimate chance of winning. Absolutely. Um, the <laughs> thing is, yes, the bullies only need to get one kill here. So they just need to focus on just one ship, one kill. They can throw caution to the wind, basically, because they need to be wiped to uh, to lose. They own Oh, look at that. Look at all those mines at that canyon entrance there. They are very ready for them to come around that corner. Let me, let, just having a look here, how difficult it'd be to spot. It would Actually, yes, it's quite, I mean, there's a lot of cloud cover around here. And coming around that corner, yeah, I mean, you could end up ramming into one of those mines. It's a distinct yeah, Especially if you're, if you're a Pyramidion and you're, 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 you're kerosene or moon shining in. Uh, you're going to have to hit the reverse button real quick. Otherwise, you're going to Okay, uh, long-range fire going down here. Uh, the uh, the Ramwaffer's engine shot out by the Mercs. The bullies, yeah, the bullies, they're, they're using those mercs on each ship to focus down the Ramwaffer as it's coming in. Now they're suppressing the nightly raff. 
Yeah, and there you go. So now this is this is a good setup by you know, the bully boys here. You you mine off that area to making it that that way is impossible to come in, and then you use some long range stuff to uh, to fire through it. And this is basically what they weren't doing last week. And, you know, last week they would just sit right on the other side of the uh, the minefield and be in a range of you know watcher shots mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, which just wasn't doing them any good whatsoever. Um, but as I pointed out before on this map, you do have multiple uh, avenues of engagement. So the red team, uh, you know, they took King a little North bit turning of its front guns. So this is the Voltan. Yep. They're waiting for go. the Bandwaffer. Here we go. We're going to get a nice engagement here. The Nightly Wrath setting itself up. The Ram Waffle already taking a few of those shots. So it's got to be on top of those repairs, which it looks like it's doing. So we'll see how this engagement goes. This is going to be really tense here. Oh, yes, it is. It's anyone's game here. The the rocket carousel shots firing down from the nightly raft. That's going to give it a slight advantage in the upcoming engagement. Start a few fires maybe on the Voltan on the King of the North. The King of the North's coming. Yep, yeah, the King of the North's just saying screw it. He's charging on the Junker. Uh, Voltan's coming in behind it. King, King of the North taking, taking a lot of damage as well. And they they got to be really careful. This might have been a mistake by the bullies. Boom! Oh, there was God. one kill, and they did not do nearly enough damage to either of these red no, ships for it no, to work out. Not. And now, the Voltan has got to pull some rabbits out of its hat as it's taking a ton of damage here. Uh, the Voltan, but does get over both going ships. above. They no, don't turn around, Voltan. Don't turn around. <laughs> no. Uh, oh no. Taking that perma hole shots it just, from those Voltan orders. just needs to Voltan just needs to just kerosene. Let's see what does Dalrius have. Uh, uh, oh, King of the North's coming back in. Dalrius does have kerosene. Why is he not using it? I have no idea. Um, oh, using mines here, the Voltan to try and block. Uh, the red ships as the King of the North comes back in. All the Voltan needs to do. Oh, and look at that. They've laid the a mine is... just in front of the, the nightly raft, so he can't go forward. The King of the North coming in here. The King of the it's... North can't oh, don't, quite don't run into the your vertical. Mines, King of the North. Oh, careful. <clears throat> King of the North's got a little bit over-anxious here. Oh, look at all those mines. My goodness. Oh, I think a mine just hit. The Ramwaffer just hit a mine there. Oh, then oh it's my another goodness, mine. this is so close. And another mine. The Voltan's the... taking a lot of fire, though. They're taking the fo focus fire. Voltan needs to get out of there. They need to let the King of the North do the damage. King of the North getting heavy damage on the Ramwaffer. Switching to the Nightly Wrath. The... Oh, and the bullies oh, win it. Voltan. No, no, no. No, they lose. What? The Voltan oh, no, they... is the one that oh. goes down. Oh, the my Voltan goodness. The Voltan is the one that goes down. Yes, wow. You're right. What a Golly, crazy so finish close. there. Man, the, the Ramwaffer had like a tiny, sl no armor and a tiny sliver of, of, of permahull there at the end, which is why I, I kind of <laughs> thought <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that was one of those uh, endings where, where, you know, split seconds apart from kills on either side, but fantastic job by, by the Aeronautical Knights of, uh, of coming in with the final engage, being down 4-3, but getting two of those kills. I mean, uh, Voltan was doing a fantastic fantastic job of staying alive for so long letting the king of the north come back into that fight but just having taken a little bit too much damage and uh well yeah that was a well that was possibly one of the best matches i've seen in that quite a long a, time that was a doozy wasn't it there was some awesome last minute mind play by the, the bullies which very 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 nearly <laughs> well, managed to pull it back for them but uh, the aeronautical knights of just good focus fire and the voltan they just took it down well, right. I don't know. I mean, uh, there are a lot of kind of um, little areas in those ribs to mine off. Like, uh, there's a lot of awkward sort of little passes in Duel at Dawn that you can mine off. I mean, sure. granted, granted, it is a small map and there is a wide open area in the middle. But I mean, there are those kind of choke points. If you get mines on them, it can be quite nasty. Sure, sure. And we'll see if they manage to pull something like that off or they, if they are just going to go for the straight up... Uh, smacking each other in the face engagements. And here I, we, go. we are getting <laughs> our first game started. I think Aeronautical Knights are changing things up a little bit here. I, I saw a last minute switch, I think, to a double carronade side on the uh, Pyramidian. Oh, that's quite interesting. All right, well, we'll so, see. So, yeah. I think they're trading like you know stuff like flares and rocket carousels for just double carronade, which assumes they're going to want to go in very close. 
All right, well, let's run through these ships real quick. Let's start off with the Nightly Wrath once more. Brick, go ahead. The Nightly Wrath has... Wait a minute. Oh, yes, it's got um, Gat, Mortar, Sides, and a Rocket Carousel on the front. The Ram Waffle's got a Gat, Mortar, Front. The King in the North... Oh, sorry. Um, uh, Ram Waffle's got a Gat, Mortar, Front, Beacon, Flare Gun, Barking Light, Carron um, Carronade, Side. Um, uh, King in the North's got a Gat, Mortar, Front, Flare Gun, Mine Launch, Side, and the Voltan, uh, Flare Gun, Mine Launch, Side, Gat, Mortar, Front. Blech. Didn't get too muddled there. There we go. So yes, it looks like the bullies have dropped the the mercs for flare guns on this occasion because the visibility. Uh, yeah, I definitely I definitely agree with that. This is a map full of those uh, clouds, those pesky clouds that fly everywhere. Uh, oh, engagement's already helpful. started here. Oh. Now the one thing I can definitely uh, give props to for the bully boys is they are sticking together. I mean, they are with each other all the time as, as much maybe as, you know, they can be. almost too tight a formation <laughs> In this case, here. yeah, maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, all too often you'll see uh, ships but, Yeah, there we of... go. Volton, Volton's reversed too much. He's taken a bounce off the rib there, but he's turning around. Um, the knightly rafts coming in ahead. Yeah, this is smart from the aeronautical knights. Yeah, lead with the junker, the tanky evasive ship, and then have the Pyrrha come in from behind. Uh, but the Nightly Wrath is getting focused here, which we'll see if how that true. works out. The King of the North is also getting focused. The Nightly Wrath has taken a lot of damage, but not too much perma hall while But the Nightly Wrath is using its vertical movement oh, no. to zone out the Volton, you see. The, the, the Volton bounces off the ribs. The rib again. Yeah, and it's keeping... There we go. The... Oh, no, that's just terrible. But the Ram Waffle is a little bit too far ahead. However, it didn't extend like we've seen a few other ships do in the recent past, so it does manage to get its gunarks around. Uh, the Ram Raffle the loses... Goes down. Wow, that was, uh, yeah, I mean, it was unfortunate by the Voltan uh, getting stuck on those ribs, bouncing into it constantly, not able to contribute too much into that fight. I'm not Somehow sure what the Ram Voltan's Raffle doing here. Um, he's, he's hovering underneath the Ram Waffle. He may just be trying to kill time for the King of the North to get... Right, the Volton's going to start reversing, and he bloody well better <laughs> reverse. Uh, nope, he's just turning around, and he's getting shots off on the Ram Waffle, and I'm nope. not sure how well this is uh, actually going to go here. Well, I don't know. The Ram Waffle's <laughs> well, armor take... is going down. He might get a bit of permahull damage here before the nightly raft up. Well, no, maybe not. Yeah, you have all sorts of fire on the wall 10 now, and uh, both those gun arcs just right up on, uh, losing its final bit of King armor. Of there it goes. Put on the brakes, put on the brakes, put on the brakes, King of the North. <laughs> King of the North has not hey, been spotted uh, yet. It has put on the brakes, like like you were screaming at them, yes. Channel, <laughs> channeling your, uh, your bully boy leadership powers there. Uh, yes. Sending psychic messages to the King of the North. Of course, the King of the North <laughs> itself should should know these situations. But fantastically well done engagement uh, by the Ironical Knights. Helped out, of course, by those uh, by that debris just uh, restricting uh, the. Uh, as I told you, it was a, it was a smart engagement. Lead with the lead with the junker. Um, you know, use the vertical movement. Use the tankiness. You know, block out the Volton, and the Volton was blocked out. Its arcs it, it couldn't rise. It bumped into the ribs there. Yep. All right, so we'll see how this next one goes. Uh, blue ship's kind of sitting out on the open here, and the red ships are just heading straight in. I mean, they're not they're not pulling any punches. They're not holding anything off. They are... Ram Waffle's coming in here. <coughs> they're they getting just right charging, in there. They're just charging full blaze. Volton's in a now, slightly awkward position. they do not know position. the Volton is there. They do not know where no, the they Volton don't. is. No, they don't. Now They've they got do. no idea he's there. <laughs> As I feel like, is it, wait, is it the only Volton's the coming in, that? gonna focus the Ram Waffer, I think. Yep, nope. Oh. Yeah, oh. bit of a, oh, good ram by the Ram Waffer, living up to its name, ramming the King of the North's uh, arcs off. This might give the Knightly Wrath the time it needs. Oh, dear. The King of the North uh, this... ramming the nose of the Voltan. Oh, dear, this engage has not gone well for the Bully Boys at all. Wow, well done. Well, good, great positioning by uh, by aeronautical knights there. Coming in from both sides, uh, making sure that even if, uh, you know, making sure that they can all basically be firing on the same blue ship at all times. And now the Voltan's going to take a ton of damage oh, there. Yeah. And, oh my, I mean, this is not going well for the Bully Boys at all. This has just been oh. a complete catastrophe from basically straight as the game started. 
Well, the bully, but this is this is the test here. I mean, are they going to get rattled? Are they going to make mistakes? Or are they going to try and regroup? Try and uh, try and learn what's gone wrong here. Looks like the King of the North and the Voltan. They're trying to get back together. Yeah, I mean, they did get good spawns for that. They don't have. Uh, but Ramwaf uh, is not wasting any time. Ramwaf is just charging in. I mean, they they smell blood uh, in the water. They want to uh, get they, that last kill. Yeah, they know it's only one. They're not. Build. They're not even going to give the bully boys time to regroup here. Now, the the downside of this is that the 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 Voltan was right there, so uh, bully boys can turn this around uh, if they can get a, a a quick kill on one of them. But the King of the North already taking so much damage, and the true. Nightly Wrath now coming Nightly in. Wrath and I mean, this damage in. is basically all done by. Oh wow, that's a huge ram. But the ram rifle has taken a lot of damage, and its arcs are nowhere near close to being able to fire. Can the North staying alive while the ram rifle is taking some more of that oh, damage? Oh, ram rifle's got to watch out for the Nightly Wrath. But no. Oh, there goes those final shots from the Nightly Wrath, and I mean that's, that was, woo, that was. That's <laughs> crazy to think that after such a close game two, that game three is just a complete drubbing of the uh, of the uh, Bully Boy teams. And well, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, there, Brick, your team. Once more, pass the bow out. They, they did, uh, didn't lose. Well, 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 they did lose, yes. <laughs> um, yes, well, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, unfortunately, though, again, that second game was so bloody close. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely uh, a game that could have gone either way. I mean, oh, great showing by, by the Bully Boys, if nothing else, giving us some very entertaining... Even that first match was, was pretty damn close. Uh, you know, that all... You know, moving to different sides of the maps, getting some nice kills, but we have to move on and uh, heal our wounds and get on into this next game between the Wolfpack and Corvus Marauders.